What up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a cooking with me video. I'm going to bring you guys along to cook dinner with me. We're going to be making um, chile colorado, arroz, and frijoles. So if you're interested in my recipe, just keep on watching. So I'm basically just going to be showing you guys step by step on how I do it. So first of all, I'm going to put my little olla right here and I'm going to set it on medium heat. And I did wash my hands already, so I'm going to open this up. And wait for my cazuela to heat up a little bit. Once it's heated up, I'm just going to start grabbing the chunks of diced pork. And these are my um, kitchen scissors. So they're exclusively for me to cut my meats and any of that stuff. So with my scissors, I'm just going to grab the pieces of pork because they do come in um, bigger pieces. I'm just going to grab them and cut them up a little bit just because they're a little bit frozen and I like to do it. You know, just cut them up as I, as I go. I'm going to cut them up into smaller pieces. And you can hear it sizzling just because it is warmer already. Also, while I'm cutting it, you can see right here. Let me see if you can see it. Right here on this little piece. It has a bit of um, fat, and I don't like that. It just, me personally, it grosses me out when it has that. So I'm just going to cut it off and throw it in here. And I'm just going to keep going, cutting them. The bigger pieces, I just kind of cut into three, but the smaller ones, I'll just cut in half if I even have to cut them. Look like you see this one right here. It has all of that. That's what I'm that's what I'm talking about. It gives me I know some people say that la carne tiene que tener poquita grasa in order for it to taste good. Or not to taste good, but para que agarre buen sabor. And I get that, but me personally I don't like to take a big bite of the food I've been craving or something and have to bite into a piece of grasa that just grosses me out and I won't finish my food if that happens. This one I'll just cut in half. done chopping up all this diced pork and this this brand of uh, pork you guys I, I mean you can use any kind of diced pork but I use the members mark which is the Sam's Club um, pork I really like their meat I, um, but I feel like their meat is really clean and really fresh it looks very good and but anyway I'm gonna turn up the heat now I'm gonna go all the way to high just because I want it to cook real good. Um, and I'm going to take my spoon to just kind of mix it around. Para que se mueva el que ya se... El que se quedó abajo and the one that was cooking first. So I'm going to do that. Now that it's all mixed, I turned up the heat. I'm just going to add some garlic salt. And it's really no más al gusto. I like it more on the, not on the salty side, but like, I don't know. A mí me gusta un poquito más cargada la mano with the salt, but my husband doesn't. So, I have to make it just in between. So now I'm going to put the lid. Oh, I still get kind of crampy when I bend down or something. All right, so now we're gonna make the rice. My stove is numbered, so I'm putting it on number, it goes from one to nine. I'm putting it on number seven. So 
gonna let it heat up a little bit and the uh, carne is still back there cooking. Um, I just uh, switched spots. It's cooking with the closed uh, lid on high heat. After it's warmed up, I don't really do things measured. What I like to do is just um, see that it covers the whole bottom of my pan. And actually, one cup is going to be a little too much. Me quedo just a little bit in there. I would say about this much in there. Maybe about half of a cup is enough for my portion. And I just cook for four people and we still get some left over. So I would say the bottom of the pan full is more than enough for a family. Okay. I'm just gonna make my... Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, I did add a couple of drops of oil on my pan. Uh, before I put the rice in there. So, le eché poquito aceite. Now the rice is cooking in here with the oil. Okay, so I'm gonna stir my rice one more time to make sure it's not burning and it's just slowly cooking. And by now, my rice is starting to turn a little golden brown. It's not quemado, it's just starting to cook. You can see it. It's starting to cook right there. So I'm gonna kinda keep mixing it so it cooks a little bit better. It's right there. All of that stuff still needs some cooking. So once it's already pretty much all cooked, I'm just going to grab some tomato sauce and add it in here, about half a can, mix it a little bit, and then add some water. And I actually like to put enough water for my pan to fill almost all the way up. That way it just cooks better. So I'm going to leave it there. Let it sit for a little bit. And in the meantime... I'm going to come over here and just stir up my carne, break it apart, oops, make sure it still has some water in it. Alright, and while my rice is getting ready to boil and my carne is cooking, I'm going to fill a little cazuelita, this is, this is a smaller one, with water. And I'm going to throw in my um, chile. I just use the New Mexico pots. I usually use the, uh, from where I'm from in Mexico, um, in Casas Grandes, compramos el costal de chile. And I usually bring it from over there, and that's what I use, because it's a lot more spicy and it has a little better flavor to it. But, since I ran out of it, this will do for now. So I'm going to just use a whole package, throw it in there, and um, let it boil for a little bit. And I'm also going to turn the chile on um, high heat. Okay. So my rice is boiling now. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of nor caldo de pollo and nor caldo de tomate. I add, I use both of them. I feel like it just gives it a better flavor. And this one, like I said before, I don't do measurements. So I kind of just le tanteo. Just do 
little bit. And same little bit of the caldo de pollo. And this, instead of adding salt to it, this does it. And I actually forgot to tell you guys, um, when I do add the caldo de pollo and caldo de tomate, I go in here and I mix it a little bit para que agarre el sabor de los dos. And I lower the heat to about a little bit higher than medium, uh, but not all the way to high. So I put it right in between. Like I said, again, my stove is numbered. So one to nine, I go to a six. And at this time, I'm gonna cover it and just let it cook on its own. If Sometimes if I have it on medium heat or on number six, a veces empieza a esparramar. So what I do at that time, I just bring it down to a four. But yeah, um, I'm just gonna let that cook. The carne is almost done, um, and the chiles are in process now. Okay, so my food is almost ready. Um, I just mix the carne again, and it looks like it's gonna be ready in about maybe five to 10 minutes. My rice, I'm gonna show you guys. My rice is almost ready. And we like it to be more on the uh, juicy side. I don't like it to be too dry. So what I'm gonna do right now, since it is about fully cooked, I'm just gonna put the lid back on it and I'm gonna turn off the heat completely. That's it right there. I'm gonna turn off the heat completely. Y con el mismo vapor, you see it's still boiling right there. Con el mismo vapor, it's just gonna finish cooking. It's pretty much all done. There is just a couple of pieces that are um, not fully cooked yet, but it's pretty much done. Like I said, um, my husband and my kids like it to be more on the... Like I was saying, my husband and my kids like it to be more on the not-so-dry side. Um, so I leave it more, you know, cuando todavía le queda poquita agua, is when I turn it off. That way it doesn't dry up completely. But um, the chile is boiled already. I'll show you guys. And you can see the mess of the stove right here because that's where the water was spilling. Um, but what I do is with the end of my spoon, it's just the spoon that I'm using for the carne, the end of my spoon, I just like to push all the chiles all the way to the bottom so they can get a little more cooked. When the chile is done boiling, I mean it already boiled once, but when it boils again, or when it's fully boiled, um, I'm just gonna throw it in the, in the blender with a little bit of salt, just a pinch of salt, and um, a piece of garlic. Sometimes I don't even add salt, just because the, the carne is already, um, sal not salada, but I already added salt to it. Okay, so I just threw all of my chiles inside of the blender, and I threw out the water that it had and I added a little bit more water to it para que quede más uh, caldito. Okay, once I'm done blending, I'm gonna bring it back over here. And I moved my cazuela from over there to up here already. And I'm gonna start, I'm gonna use I use this thing, it's, I call it a colador. I don't know what it's called, but it's just one of these little mesh things. Malo cuelo poquito para que no se vayan los, uh, las cascaras de el um, chile that is in this blender. And what I do is, I just put it right there. I grab my, blender and I start throwing it on there once I throw it on there I just hit it gently on the side so I'm gonna 
add a little bit of water. Um, but how I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna put the colador. I'm gonna throw the last amount que voy a poner en mi colador. So I'm gonna colarlo. And just kind of swirl it around like that. Para que le salga todo el jugo. You guys can see, ya le salió más. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add water in here. Para que le salga más jugo. Me, personally, I like it to be more aguadito. Um, so that's why I added so much water. But yeah, it's basically ready. All right, you guys, so everything's pretty much done. Um, I already, the chile already boiled, so I'm about to turn it off. Um, yeah, it boiled already pretty good. Um, I'm about to turn it off. I'm just about to make some frijoles to finish up my meal. So what I like to do is I like to use this little pan. It's a smaller pan just because pretty much only me and the kids eat the beans. Um, my husband doesn't really like the beans. So I grab a little bit. I turned it on already on high heat um, or on medium heat. I'm sorry. And I just grab a spoon of butter, and this is a cooking spoon, so it's not even a spoonful, but just a tip. And I throw it in here. Instead of using any oil or anything, I just use the butter. And I'm just gonna let the butter melt completely. Once the butter melts completely, I'm just gonna pour my beans in there. that my beans are in there I'm just gonna let them heat up and boil also and obviously my beans are pre-made so just gonna let them sit here until they boil but my chile has boiled like I told you guys Alright you guys, so as you saw, I'm done with everything. I warmed up my tortilla already and it's time to surf. I served myself and I am now going to try it, make sure it tastes as good as I want it to taste and I'll show you guys my plate. All right, you guys, so this is it. This is my plate. I rarely eat tortilla, but when I do, it has to eat, be with chile colorado um, just because it's so good, and especially when it's from Mexico. But I'm just going to grab my tortilla. Grab some beans, chile. And a little bit of rice. Mm. It's so good. No es por nada, but it is so good. 
But once again, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. We will be posting more videos more often. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys want to see more of. If you like videos like this, recipes, or what you guys want to see more of, of just vlogs or anything. Um, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys!